Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this jobler of iPods I found on eBay for £30. So as you can see here, it only actually cost me £35 to get three untested iPods, 140GB and 220GB. These are all 4th generation monochrome. Okay, so now it's time to see what's on the inside of this box. As you can see, our first 20 gigabyte iPod is in pretty good cosmetic condition, although we don't know how it will be on the inside. Our second 20 gig iPod is in not as good condition, but still looking pretty respectable from the outside. Here is our last iPod. This one is 40 gig and in slightly better condition than the previous two. This is actually one of those funny HP iPods where if you had a problem you'd take it to HP. I don't really know how that would help. I guess Apple just don't like to get their hands dirty. So now it's time to give the iPod some power. So thankfully the first iPod booted up. Although it did come up with the dead hard drive symbol, which is actually the best we could have hoped for. Next up, we have the other 20 gig iPod. This one showed signs of life, but after an off camera charge, I found out that the battery is actually completely dead. Now lastly, we have the 40 gigabyte. This is where things got a bit strange. So initially, the iPod showed up do not disconnect even though iTunes was closed. And then after this happened, we got this screen quite a few times, which usually means a dead hard drive or a dead logic board. So after all of this happened, I was trying all the normal stuff to get it to work. And annoyingly, off camera, it started working. Okay, now it's time to connect it to iTunes. As you can see here, I am completing the restoring process. Now all we have to do is give it some wall power and wait for it to reset. And there we have it. A fully functioning iPod Classic 4th generation. So obviously the intention of buying this job lot of iPods was to make a bit of money and I'm glad to say I have. For some reason the 40 gigabyte HP iPod sold to somebody in Hungary for 100 quid. I have no idea why you'd want to buy a fourth generation for that amount of money but maybe they're just hard to come by in Hungary. Don't worry about the other two iPods, I will be filming another video on attempting to freeze the hard drives to revive them. I've heard that this is actually a valid method of repairing hard drives, but we'll see whether my um, stupidity pays off. Anyway, I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.